Succulent House. This is another Pat With Me video. And if you are new in this channel, Succulent House is all about my passion for succulents, cacti, and gardening. And of course, if you like this kinds of videos, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also that bell notification so that you'll be notified every time I post a new video. And if you are one of our returning Suki subscribers, maraming maraming salamat po for being here and for watching all of my videos. So this is, as the title says, this is a quick plant with me video and what we're going to do is we're going to repot some babies um, that I propagated, I tried to rescue and callus over and magkupentuhan lang tayo. So, tara! So, first off, ito yung, if you are in Instagram, I did an IG video where I beheaded one of my topsy-turvy. As you can see, medyo wrinkled up na siya. And, nagkalus na yung baba. It's been probably 4 or 5 days since I beheaded it. So, we're, what we're going to do is, we are going to plant it in one of the um, terracotta pots na binili natin sa reso. got my Kapag cutting kasi medyo madaling magbihead kasi bubutasan mo lang ng ganyan yung soil. So, usapang toppings. Um, dati, mahilig talaga akong maglagay ng toppings sa bawat um, land na meron ako. Pero nabasa ko kasi or some of the YouTubers, succulent YouTubers na kilala ko, they don't like toppings kasi it traps the moisture inside the soil mix. Pero for visual appeal naman, mas maganda talagang may toppings. And isa pa, kung nauulan na yung succulents, hindi nauubos yung soil. So, depende po talaga yun sa taste at sa inyo kung gusto nyo nang may toppings or wala. So, ito na siya ngayon. So, hopefully, mag-root ng husto si Tetraveria Topsy-Turvy. And, I will use some pumice as toppings. Um, I use uh, several toppings for my plants. Um, lately, mas nagugustuhan ko yung pumice kasi... Um, yung color is gray and hindi healthy siya for the plant kasi it's airy and mura dito sa aklan you can buy it for 1 kilo for 50 pesos siya ngayon. This one. And then, ito naman, recent order ko to. Um, kaya lang, dun sa Terra Aqua ng anak ko, we've been using it to practice. Um, my husband wanted to use it sana. So, I let it air dry. And, naripat ko na siya the other day. As you can see, konti lang yung root ball nito. Pero, natumba, accidentally natumba kaya we are going to repot her again so gusto ko kasi yung mga echeverias nandito sa terracotta pot so instead, dito natin siya ilalagay sa stick pot or wait lang, baka meron akong so wala, dito na lang Here, 
Ayan, pala akong ceramic na may butas sa ilalim. Gumagamit ako ng tissue, guys, pag uh, malaking drainage hole ng malaki yung drainage hole ng pot. Kasi, natutunaw yung tissue eventually kapag okay na yung root ball ng plant. So, hindi na siya ganun kaputi kasi recycled na to guys. Meaning, nagamit ko na ng ilang beses sa ibang plants. Tinabi ko lang para magamit ulit. So, medyo may stay na siya. Actually, trinay ko tong hugasan kahapon. Pero dahil nadumihan lang ulit. Kasi naglagay ako ng lumang marble chips. So, ayan siya. Okay. Okay. Ngayon naman, ang ire-repot natin is itong mga to, which is Haworthia limifolia babies. Galing to dun sa mommy Haworthia na niripat na niripat ko nung isang araw. So, yung pot kasi na ginamit natin dun is like a deep square pot na pang Pasko. And hindi nakakalabas tong babies na to sa taas kasi maliit lang yung hole. So, what we're going to do is to repot this. As you can see, meron na siyang roots. Na-air dry ko na to a couple of days. And dahil malaki tong root system na to, siguro I will chop it off a little bit para magkasya ng konti dun sa ating pot. akin, pag baby, hindi ko muna nilalagyan ng toppings. Para makahinga naman yung soil. So, medyo marami-rami to, guys. Meron tayong mga luma plastic pots. Nursery pots. na pwedeng gamitin. Kasi mostly for propagation na ito. So eventually, pag malaki na siya, pwede na natin siyang either ibenta yung ating mga babies or pwede na natin siyang ilagay sa mas magandang pot. Kapag stable na yung root system and stable na yung plant. Ito 
ito naman, actually hindi to limifolia, but instead, ito is one of the blue aloes na niripat din natin nung isang araw. And nandun din nakatago to sa ilalim ng lupa. Hindi siya umusbong sa taas. Siguro masikip yung lumang pot. So, we're taking this off and we will repot this one. So, again, kapag ka, uh, babies or nagpapropagate ako or nagre-repot ako ng babies, yung ginagamit ko, nursery pot. Medyo odd yung shape nito kasi hindi siya hindi siya nakausbong dun sa pot na pinaglalagyan ko ng mami. Kaya hopefully as time passes by magpo-form naman yung plant dun sa kung ano ba talaga yung itsura niya. folia to ulit. I think this one, hindi na ito magsusurvive. Kasi may rot na sa baba. And, hindi ko muna siya itatanim. Kasi pag tinanggal natin ito, so, hayaan na lang muna natin siya. This one is also a limifolia. So, Limifolia pa rin to guys. Okay, marami nang tatanong sa akin ang soil mix niya. Yeah ginagamit ko. So, gumagawa po kami ng sarili namin soil mix dahil marami namang soil dito sa backyard. So, yung soil mix, mayroon po akong video na ginawa dyan a couple of years back. Pero ngayon, yung soil mixture namin, it's composed of broken clay pots, probably 10% pumice, tapos 20% na river stones, and then organic. Kung gusto niyo po ng video about the new soil mix or kung paano nagmimix si Hobby, let me know in the comments down below para. I'll ask Hobby to create another video of soil mix for you guys. So, I think this one, magkakasya na to sa maliit niya. But later. Okay. This one naman, um, hindi na talaga nag-survive yung bukasana. Uh, meron akong, this used to be a clump of bukasana. Ito medyo okay, dried na rin siya. Um, malaking clump to before. Pero sadly, because exposure sa sun and rain, na dead yung clump ko. So I think, sa, siguro sa 20 na kak 
Lotus Clumps ng bukasan niya, I think dalawa lang itong okay. So, the rest dito na hinahawakan ko is talagang malambot na. And, wala ka ng hard part na mahawakan. I mean, maybe three of them. So, we'll try to save this one and see if mapalaki natin siya ulit. So, dahil cactus itong itatanim natin, usually ang ginagawa ko sa cactus especially kapag ka wala pa siyang root system is nilalagyan ko siya ng humus sa taas tapos doon natin siya itutusok sa humus So, yung bukas na niya, guys, kahit hairy siya, meron siyang thorns. para siyang fish hook na, na, na mamilarya. Kasi mamilarya siya. So, talagang notorious sila sa tinik. So, kahit na pag wala kayong gloves, medyo ingat lang. And, meron pa tayo yung another bukas na na medyo nag-survive. So, kukuha pa. Here's the repots. So, hindi talaga ako nawawala ng tissue dito sa greenhouse, guys. Kasi kailangan namin yung tissue para dito sa mga nursery pots. And then, same thing. Pumis pa rin yung ating magiging toppings. sa isa merong soft part dito so hindi natin oh no parang hindi din itong magsusurvive Talagang malambot siya, guys. So, eto. Ito, medyo okay-okay na to. Pero basa, ayahan ko muna siya dyan. And I see, ito, hindi din ito magsusurvive. Let's see this one. Oh, soft din. So, lahat soft. So, walang natira sa bukasan ako. So, maybe I'll just allot this to another cactus na lang. So, that, that is it for today. Thank you so much. May maingay akong kasama. Nakita niya yung papa ko. That is it for the plant with me video for today. Maraming maraming salamat sa pagsama sa akin. And if meron kayong nagustuhan um, na mga plants na niripot na, then let me know what's your favorite. And um, please send me some positive vibes na masave pa itong nagigisang buka sa clump na nakuha natin. And it's one of my favorite cacti talaga. So, thank you so much for joining me today and dahil maingay na ang aking mga pet dogs, I'll see you on my next video. Bye!